G'day, today in episode 419 of Trent 365, Lush Cosmetics gets naked. UK cosmetics retailer Lush has launched a naked collection and the idea is the naked collection is products that are without packaging. So it's not the people that go naked, it's the products that go naked. Although in, in all seriousness, there is actually part of their campaign, they've had their staff basically naked apart from an apron. So they're walking around with their bums hanging out. Um, they're going naked for the campaign, which I think it's an interesting campaign. I think it's quite clever. And as long as nobody was forced to go naked because they didn't want to, whatever, um, I think it's very clever. I think there's some people probably won't like it, but anyway, I think it's pretty clever. And so back to this idea of naked products. The idea is you bring in your packaging and take the products home with you. So there's bars that are, um, there's single products that would normally be packaged, these are not. You basically stick them in your bag or your box and take them home. And the interesting thing is they've done it with products that would normally be liquid form. Things like shampoo, things like facial toners and cleansers and facial oils. And the way they've done that is they've basically barified the product, I say. They've, they've made them into solid bars, like a bar of soap. And I must admit, I had a bit of a chuckle when I saw this shampoo bar and I looked at it and it was actually basically looked like a bar of soap. And I thought, hang on a minute, I invented that 40 odd years ago back at a school camp when I had no shampoo. I just got the, the soap and just used that. Did no harm, right? Um, so look, I think the interesting thing is it's interesting innovation the way they've made these bars that now don't need packaging or they're, it's much easier to transport a solid bar as opposed to a liquid, obviously. But the interesting thing to me too, and I've spoken about this in tonight's podcast on the Inside the Spa Business Show, I've also spoken about it in my blog and my LinkedIn article, which is all going live today. Go to trentmonday.com if you wanna check any of it out. I think it creates an interesting opportunity for a luxury skincare brand to think about this as well. I mean, we're an industry that has so much packaging, it's, it's nuts, right? If you could be a luxury skincare brand and you had basically refillable pump bottles that I could bring into the spa and refill them and take them home without all the packaging, that could be a very interesting play. I think there's a massive opportunity for particularly a luxury skincare brand to try and adapt this refillable, reusable kind of model. Interested to hear what you think, let me know. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. Yeah,